all and welcome to part three working with Phoenix heat set paints on baby miracle here uh, this part three we're starting with the red model and then going on to the green model and the purple model I'm very very excited um, I was super privileged uh, yesterday I had my class that I run here at Aussie Reborn Supplies and I was able to show them all uh, my progress on Baby Miracle and it was very, very exciting because each and every one of them were just like in awe of how beautiful her skin looked and one of my advanced artists um, said how much it really feels like... Um, Actually, she's my other teacher that works with me, uh, Angela. Uh, she actually said how it felt, the skin felt so velvety and it also looked really velvety. And um, that's what I've been saying all along. It really does have that velvet sort of look to it. It's really, really nice. It feels nice. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Hopefully we're not too much in the dark here today. It's, it's in the afternoon and um, it's very overcast outside. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay. You will see down in front of me that I've already got some paint mixed up and that's just because I've been playing around with it a little bit um, and I didn't want to waste that. So um, I got very excited when I talked about the red model and I said I was going to go, you know, headstrong in and I was going to just go for it because I love the red model. So I did, um, four, I was going to do four swipes of, four swipes of red to two mil of the odorless solvent and then I decided well no I really need three mils of the solvent because um, I'm doing a model on the whole kit and then I added another half a mil so I was it was the video was starting to get a little bit long so I thought I'd start again even though I'm chappering again um, I did get some beautiful looking model out of it which I was really happy about uh, but I just I, I didn't want you to have to listen to all that. So anyway, you've been with me for part one and two, so you kind of know what I'm talking about. So with this the the side swipe, I used the red. I did four side swipes of red. Okay, four of those. So and that was and that was going to be to four mil of uh, the odorless solvent. Okay, I need to add a little bit sol more solvent in to get it back up to the four mil. So four swipes. So you put the solvent in, then you go swipe, mix it in, swipe, mix it in, swipe, mix it in, swipe, mix it in. And then I had us have a small brush, just this little tip one here. And I did two tippy tips of the marine blue. So I just wiped it over, mixed it in, wiped it over again, mixed it in. And I ended up with a really nice rich red that you can see there. It's quite a nice rich red. I'm going to add the rest of my solvent to bring it up to the four mil. Please excuse me guys, I've got a bit of a um, ruddy nose at the moment. So if I sound a little bit congested or a sniffle, I apologize ahead of time. I just I must be coming down with a cold and um, it's really driving me insane at the moment. Okay, so I'll just mix that in. And I think that's going to be good. So, yeah, I was, like I said, I was really headstrong to begin with and I thought, yeah, yeah, I'm going to add so much paint to less odorless. Yeah, because I really love the model. And then I just listen to myself as I say to all my students, less is more, less is more. So you go less. And you can add more later if you need to. I've got my mottling sponge here. I'm going to give it a swipe over and we'll go onto the test limb and we will just roll that in. And you can see that there. And I think that's nice. I mean, it's still quite full on. Um, I have also found, you know, having a blending brush close by, if you get a little spot, maybe see down the bottom of that, it's a little bit stronger. You can literally just lightly tap it and it really blends it in, okay? So don't think, um, oh, once I've rolled it on, that's it, okay? It's not that it, it's not that, that. that's not it at all, all right? So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to get the, change the camera location again so you can see down we're going to do the red model on the belly so you can watch how that works and i'll do the rest in hyperlapse so let's go to that now hey okay okay so let's start on this beautiful belly plate right here 
remember if you get too much uh, paint on your sponge it always needs to be fairly dry so you need to be able to press it out and any excess needs to come out always mixing your paint as I said to you earlier it settles and you can see that that's a nice rich uh, red maroon tone compared to out here which is just a red okay swipe off your brush to get take off any excess fluid just give a light brush on top and let's either pounce or roll on I'm rolling because I'm using the gourd sponge or the teardrop sponge if you've got a normal cosmetic wedge that's okay too you will just sort of pounce it on now anywhere that it's a little bit stronger like up the top like I said I'm just going to blend in or you can even use your outer edges of your model just to lightly press over just to pick up any of the excess mortal there it's not too bad I'm kind of happy with that that's kind of the look I kind of want I know I'm saying kinder again kinder a lot just don't want to make it detrimental in the end if you know what I mean over the top there and keep rolling oh that's a little bit strong there in the belly that's okay though I will fix that by just going over it nothing to be really scared about I'm just pressing a little bit harder in that center part where I picked up that excess model there and that's pretty good so very important again let's get any excess paint off there very important again make sure your mix is mixed well if you find it too thick don't keep going ahead add some more odorless to it everyone likes their mottle differently but I wanted this to be a little bit more visual okay so just some mottling down the bottom there just a nice light touch okay and I'm pretty satisfied with that at the moment a little bit dark there just press on even on the sides there see just pressing is taking off some excess color just pressing down that is good so there we go hopefully you can see that okay I'm sure you can okay so now I'm going to hyperlapse the rest of the red model okay so my model went fine I'm pretty happy with it uh, before I bake I'll make sure that there's no full-on spots that I still need to blend out a little bit uh, but while I've still got my mix here from my model I'm just going to give a soft touch to the lips nothing full-on it's like literally just the first touch so make sure you clear out your sponge and I'm just going to sort of go over the lips just once still a translucent mix so it shouldn't come up strong I'm going to leave that sucky lip part in the middle unpainted for the time being I don't even know if I showed you any of that <laughs> because I wasn't looking at the video but hopefully you can actually see it now anyway so that well I've got some blue on my brush there lucky it went inside it's good okay so just this area over here and this area over here I left the sucky bit there I might sort of frame that sucky lip bit a little bit and just the bottom 
so it's like so 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 very finely done there you can see the sahi lip part is not painted and just the bottom lip is painted and either side of that sucky lip <laughs> okay so that's just giving its first touch uh like i said guys i'm really sorry that the light isn't going to be super great today because of the weather you can see the mottling on the cheek there you can see some yellowing on the cheek there too it's bringing out some different colors but there we go might be all over the place it's so hot in here it's like raining outside but it is so 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 very humid so apologies about that I'm trying to fix up that camera a bit anyway so i haven't baked this yet just letting you see the modeling that i've done there it's quite it's just a touch but if i if even at that level um i could see how i could make it not a touch if i wasn't thinking i could literally just paint this on pounce 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 i can show you what i can do actually i could be really rude okay i could get this this brush i could put on the mixture put it on i could pounce it out in the area look how strong that is and i could say oh my god i love it i just love it even though it's too full on it's still smooth by the way but it's just too full on i can add some more i can say yes 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 i i really want to add some more and i can add some more over there and see how the the sponge is now getting too loaded too loaded with the red so now it's gone overboard right right exactly so you can see how a mixture that i make can be smooth or it can be terribly crazy um if you put it on and you really pounce it out you know you make that area go all the way like i did one load and did the whole leg and then any solid you know more stronger points i went back and i pounced them out a bit more so see how i've made that little bit less prominent now it just takes a bit of work of course um now we didn't want to take those modeling sponges modeling dots away so that's why we sort of went over it just really gently trying to press out that color so if you do get a harsh color and you're like actually i'm really scared of that then go and add another mill of odorless solvent please don't be scared to really play with your um, paint that's why i always say you need one of these because doing it on this first you know what you're doing you know where you stand and you're like okay i'm ready you know it's like when you practice eyebrows and that you should have a test slim like this even to practice your eyebrows okay so yeah i'm generally happy you can see how i've just done the lips just a little touch that's our first touch of lips there um everything else is going really really nice i'm really happy with it so um i'm now going to go and do the next modeling layer uh which is going to be the green model and then i will bake it after the green model okay so let's get to the green model wow we're going pretty good um i'm thinking i'm gonna have a rest right now to hopefully this room will cool down and i'll come back and i do always let it set by the way um i do always let it sort of just settle before i go whacking another layer on i know people get very excited and they want to rush ahead i'm not saying you can't do that personally i like to let it set i want to also factor in and show you the difference between the bottom here and the and and the actual head and you can see how much change has actually come within the paint there it also shows really nicely on the body itself so here's the body again and if you look at the back it's just so i mean i know it's shiny there but there i don't want to pull it too hard okay let's go to to you know the the next the next modeling layer let's go to it now okay so we're going to work on the green model i'm happy to go ahead now baby's been sitting for about an hour while i've been rushing around cleaning the house i'm so sweaty so sorry if i look flustered i'm trying to do a million things at once and i'm actually enjoying it weirdly i know right so let's do the green model i'm you don't need to see me again so i'm going to turn you around so you can actually see how the green works and um we'll go together work together with that okay so with the green 
I'm going to start with just our yellow that we've been using and I'm going to go one swipe of the yellow. This is how you can see how my swipe goes actually. It's pretty much just a coating. See how there's no real goopy bits there or anything? That's what I want. One swipe of the yellow. We're going to go straight for the jugular and go three mil of the odorless solvent. Should take us right up to three. Yes, it did. It is such a humid day here this afternoon. It is actually six o'clock <laughs> um, on a Friday night. It is so humid. It's rainy outside and everything, but it is just really, really humid. I was hoping that the rain would tone tone that um, down a bit, but it hasn't. Now, as you can see, I'm actually using a blue brush. And why I don't mind using a blue brush is because we're adding blue to this. So I thought it won't hurt. So a bit more yellow I will add there. I will add another swipe. So that'll be so far two swipes of yellow. Two, three mil. Any, any paint that comes off the edge there, just put it back in. A lot of people are a little bit scared about the blue, um, sorry, green. Uh, don't be scared. It's fine. If you've got a nice translucent layer, there's absolutely nothing to be scared of. Okay, and then we're going to add a bit of blue. I'm just going to use the normal blue for this. And actually, I've got to get that yellow out of that top of that brush there. Okay, and I'll start slowly. I'll sl start with a quarter swipe. Mix that in. starting to lime up which is kind of the color I like a bit of a limey color I'm gonna go a little bit more yellow so just half a swipe and you know I'm doing this because I'm working with you at the moment like I'm playing I'm practicing Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. I will just do another quarter swipe of the blue. So, so far we've done two and a half yellow to a half blue. Okay, that's good. Now, you, it doesn't really, really matter the color green you use um sometimes like when i'm working with my air dry paints sometimes i get a really nice lime green and other times i get more of an emerald green and i find both are fine they're completely fine so of course before we go ahead and do anything detrimental on our kit we're going to do it on the test slim over that red chunky model that I did before and this time I'm going to use one of my pre-made green sponges that I always use just swipe it onto the sponge and let's pounce on yep that's perfect like I said I'm not I'm not after strength here it's just more of tone it's adding to the color that I've already got there so I, I don't want I don't want to see green I don't want to I look at my kit and say oh my god look it's a frog it's got green green speckles over it that's not it it's part of the add-on to a whole coloring system 
so yeah you don't want to see green but you want it to sort of be there as a translucent layer so let's go over the belly plate with our green and this has also got a, got a different mottling te uh, texture to it than my other sponges. You'll see it's really, really speckled and dotty um, other than like my last red one was really big, big, big dots, big spots. So that also layers into it as well, even though it's ultra fine, such a light layer. Always making sure you're mixing your mix because as we always say, the sediment drops. You'll want to reload your sponge if you're doing a belly plate for this one, probably four times. I've done it twice and I'll do it another two times. And my nose is still running. <laughs> I'm like, quick, quick, get this done so I can blow my nose. Okay. And one more, hoping you're liking those little speckled looks. And as you are seeing, I am going over the umbilical cord there because we still want the color green to be involved. Look at that like that. Okay, great. So now I'm going to hyperlapse uh, me doing the rest of the kit, which will only take like 15 seconds, if that. Then I'm going to let it rest and then I'll bake it. Okay, so that's what you want to do too. You can bake after every layer, like I've said before. It's completely up to you. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're up to the purple mottling now and I'm hoping the lighting is going okay. I'm doing this tutorial at night and I normally don't like to do my tutorials at night. I feel the whole color system doesn't work as well, but I'm, I've got some perfect time to get them done and I really want to get them done. So crossing fingers, everything will be okay. It should be, especially when I do <clears throat> the um, on top. Uh, videoing. Now, uh, mind me if I keep <clears throat> coughing like this. I had a green curry before and it went down the wrong way and I think I burnt my throat. Great. Uh, but I've been <clears throat> doing this sort of thing a lot. Anyway, let's get into the purple and I've got the purple here from um, Phoenix Heat Set Paints. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to open that up. Let's not waste any time. Oops, the little thingies on there. Okay, so I'll pretty much do, everything's been three for three. So I think I'm just going to, I know, I know I changed my mind a lot, guys. Okay, I know. And this is nice and runny, uh, like some of the, the blue, blue one I did earlier. So I'm going to go straight in and get the three mil of the Odalis. That's why my water bottle is just there because I nearly killed myself on a green curry. I don't know. I don't know what I do these things to myself for. Thinking I'm a bit red around the eyes from coughing and choking to death. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do this a little bit different too. I'm going to keep looking at the screen like that as well because um, I've got limited time left on my recording on my phone. And I've got to upload them all from my phone to the computer and, you know, say la vie. Okay, uh, one is definitely not enough. So we're going in for a second round. Oh, sorry, I'm not really showing you that, am I? But you will see when I'm um, doing some mixing anyway. I think you pretty much get the picture. Second swipe. Get in there. Sometimes when you're already got the Ola solvent on the um, brush you'll see me swiping excessively because it's sort of wet and so it's not picking it up as easy so that is the second swipe I will give that a little a quick test before I add more where's my testing lamp oh yeah yep 
and I'm just going to get this for safety's sake and just do a little dot yeah that's pretty good <clears throat> it is pretty good <clears throat> I'm thinking sorry I'm really sorry about this coughing I'm gonna go a third one because I've done three for all the others and it's worked perfectly so why wouldn't it be purple right Everyone's sinking in there to calm down. Okay. I Yeah, I can't calm down. Okay. Mixing that third one in. Three for three. It's just been the magic number, really. It really has. Okay, and it looks pretty good too. You'll see it in a minute. Just get that excess paint off the top of my brush. Okay. And mix and load. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that's still fine. It's coming out nicely. Um, you probably can't really see it very well, but it's coming out nicely and it's not full on. So I'm quite quite happy to go ahead with that. Okay, but I'm going to do my model a little bit different this time. I've only got three minutes left to record this little section here. These are the um, model, um micro modeling sponges we have on at aussie reborn supplies on the website um you can see them there it comes in the pack of four they come in these little tiny containers so you can keep them um lightly moist and protected uh they they are realistically just kitchen sponges that i have cut to cut to size and got the little containers to put them in to protect them um the little containers keep them just a tiny bit moist all the time um so yes i'm gonna go to you can view the top view of it yes i'm going to do that give me a okay. second so you can see i'm just mixing my mixture now going to paint onto my micro model sponge i'll make sure you don't have excess fluid on your brush it's always a light touch and then literally just pounce it on there you'll notice after i'm doing all of these modeling layers that i'm not needing to use a brush to blend out or to re-pounce too much um it's only if if you have any excess amounts on there will you need to do that now this is a nice translucent purple exactly what i wanted to do and i'm not sure if you can see just those tiny little micro micro model spots um they're really really good because it gives a different texture again to the whole skin so i'll show you a little bit up close again excess paint out paint on the sponge and let's get in here so it's working lovely beautiful you should be able to see those tiny little dots and that's why we call it a micro model Okay, I'll just finish off this and then we'll do a hyperlapse for the rest. Actually, because I've got limited space of recording left on my phone, I will start the hyperlapse now. Okay, I hope everyone's been doing super great work. Um, I've been enjoying it and I hope you've been enjoying it along with me. Um, I did make a mistake, but not a mistake. Probably a benefit for you guys. As we know, I just did the three mottling layers, the red, the green and the purple. I said after the mottling layer of the red and the green, I was going to bake it and I didn't. So I was starting to do my my painting on the purple and i'm like oh my god i didn't bake it but i thought doesn't matter uh, i usually when i was working with the genesis would paint uh bake every three layers so um i thought let's just keep going in it and see what becomes of it and i did that i did the bake after the third layer not a problem not a problem at all um the the skin itself when i put it into the oven felt a little bit like gritty chalky type of feel um put it in the oven 
it's come out like velvet. Um, it's amazing. It's just um, cooling at the moment. So I'm just going to let it cool while I create the next layers. So what we're doing for the next uh, stage is we're doing uh, darkening in the ears, nostrils and mouth. If you have an open mouth, we're doing that with the blue, like a, it's like a blue wash type of color. Uh, we'll do that first and then after we do the blue we do the same but with the red so i'm going to make a blue mix and a red mix ready for me to bring the head over and get that done um, so i'm going to just use the blue simple blue and i'm going to do one swipe i don't necessarily want this whole big brush this is a bit of a big, bigger brush i would have preferred to get another one like that they're, they're very similar so when you you've got a bigger brush that you're using just be sort of aware of that and think okay well see i just want like that tip swipe so just a tip swipe of the blue ah and you can't get those lids on i mean you can but you know when you're in the middle of something it's hard and we're going to go two mil of the odorless solvent now, someone might think, oh, well, well, why don't I have a label on this? It's because I am Aussie Reborn Supplies. Um, I do decanter um, big bottles into some smaller bottles. And I just couldn't be bothered because, you know, I'm not selling it or anything. It's just for my own purposes. So if you're wondering, you know, what I'm using, if you're thinking, she's lying to me and she's using water. I'm not. It is idle solvent. So I'm going to put it into one of the paint palette holes and I'll put two mil in the other side ready for the red as well okay done that give my blue a mixy moo be gentle obviously because I'm just working with the palette holes I sort of like been liking lately working with the center palette don't ask me why I just like it better I'm just looking for some jars I have some little glass jars that I was going to get out to put my mix in and also test uh, the length of time they will last you know how I'm going around in circles here, but you know how one swipe of red, just like we did there. Um, a lot of people save, they don't like to swipe up and wipe up. Just one swipe. Wipe up their, um, their paint afterwards because it, it is waste, but it's not, you know. I mean, you can use paint left over, of course you can. Um, so it's, it's not a waste, but some people like to do that. So I was just thinking if I had an, any of those little jars here, I could put the paint in it, any paint not used, and we could test that theory with these paints if they don't dry out and things like that. Because this is a quite a hot room, so it would be a good test room. So I might make that happen for you guys. <clears throat> okay, so mix the red in. And mix the blue again okay so I've got those two colors there so I'll just get miracles head so we can start on that process I okay, so, okay so as you can see she's looking pretty good um, again I, I'm sorry that the video just doesn't show what I want you to see you can see the difference in the colors from the top to the bottom there and I'm sure you can see some details throughout the head there so she's going really really well I'm really happy with it so I'm going to start with my blue and just like I did in the early stages mix your paint make sure you keep it mixed so it doesn't settle swipe off the edge so there's no excess fluid on the brush and I'm going to paint in those deep ravines in the ear this is like a wash so um don't be too scared of it but still paint it on get your blending brush a small blending brush this one is i prefer the tight blending brushes 
like my pink one there that if you can get those ones they're really good they they sort of stay put um, in one area if you've got one like I've got with the blue here you have to do a controlled blend hold on to the end and paint like uh, pounce lightly and why we hold on to the end again is so that the brush doesn't go whoosh and put that blue in, a, in the area we didn't want I mean it might go a little bit there we go there's my bluing in there so you can just see um, you might be able to notice a little blue hue in there um, but you can also see a darkening look like it's starting to look deep I mean you can't really see it in my ears but you know if you think about like in my nose it's dark it's like an endless I don't know I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm a little bit head 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 muddled this morning because I've still got like that head cold or whatever and I had the chili last night well <laughs> I know I shouldn't be talking to you guys about all this stuff but it's just making my head so fuzzy okay so I'm going to do the other side now just like I did that one on with the blue so yeah I'm just a little bit mmm like I've been hit by a bus in my head. Right? It's okay. Lightly blending that out. I'm really liking how that's like been going. The whole process of doing inside the ears, nose and mouth. Right from the beginning it was one of the best techniques. Okay, so we've done that second ear. Now... With what I've just done, I won't need to do any more bluing in the ear, um, nostrils or mouth again, I don't believe. Well, definitely not in the ear. So now mix your paint again and in the nostrils. Be careful. We want to get right in the center of that nostril, not out near the edges. We don't want to turn these edges blue. So just right in the center, just like a dab on either side. And definitely a controlled blend. Any excess paint from this, even though there won't be much, just dab it on the paper towel just to make sure. And see how the nostrils start getting it's going well. Now the mouth is a bit of a, you know, merry-go-round. Same deal. Get inside the mouth, swipe it. You might need to squeeze your cheeks in just a little bit if your mouth is really closed. Well partially closed most babies have closed mouths so a lot of you won't will not have to worry about this I'm going to go in there with a little bit more because it's a bit of a dark spot I'm going to give it a minute elevator music and then another controlled uh, pounce so this means I'll sort of slot this into the mouth there and give it a push up and down lightly okay that's fine so you can say see that inside the mouth oh it's darkening just that just that hint and that's what the blue will do if you do it all red it'll it won't give it that darkening look it'll it'll be darker but it just won't be as dark as you would like. You want it to definitely be different to the outer lip. Okay, so that is really good. I'll let that sit there for a moment and then we'll do the same repeat with the red that I've got there. Okay, so let's start the red, shall we? So make sure, again, you're giving your mix, uh, uh, mix your, your paint a mix. It will settle, like I said. Mix it. Wipe off the edges of your paintbrush to take any extra excess fluid off and go straight over that blue part we did in the ears. Okay. Again with your blender, make sure you do a hold if it's a, if you need to control it. Otherwise, just pounce it in. In either way, just pounce it in gently. Yes, oh my God. 
absolutely perfect. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's really cool because the whole thing is blended. Like it's, it's not like someone has gone in there and done like a, I don't know, a purple tone or something like that. It's really well. Mix, wipe, paint and blend on the other ear. In the nostrils by the way too what I'm doing if you need to do it a few times do it a few times I'm just of course there's no need for me to do it and if I was I probably I'm not doing anything off video so you're pretty much seeing what I'm doing on video for all things so in the nostrils the same effect and then in the mouth Mix, wipe, paint, and blend. Okay. And there we have it. I'm really happy with that. So the next uh, moment, or the next the next part we're going to add some more to the lips we're going to do some fingertips and see if we can also do some um, blushing on the hands feet and cheeks see what we need okay so i haven't moved on yet um but i did i definitely i definitely did i did another blue in the nose mouth um, I did a uh, blue along the eye, the eye shut area, the crease where the eye shuts closes together. So I did a blue line and then I've done a red. Um, so I'm just waiting for the red to sit a moment and I'm going to blend it. And I think it just brought it up a little bit more. So definitely, um, <clears throat> I'll just blend that eye area. Definitely sit there, take a look at it. Sometimes you really need to sort of you know, look at it from a distance and, you know, move it around to see what extra you need. Please, like I said, don't stop at what I've told you to do. Have a little look. Um, so far, these Phoenix paints, and I must say, when you're doing this tutorial, I hope you're using Phoenix paints. You're not trying to do it with another paint because I don't know how they're going to treat you. Uh, but these ones, Phoenix, are working, you know, so, 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 so great. Um, and there is a little bit of give and take with these paints, which is really, really nice, I think. Just blend underneath that sucky lip a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave my blue mix there because, you know, like, it's sitting there, it's not doing anything, and I might need it again. So... I, I just say that because as I'm going, if I think it might need a little bit more bluing in the mouth and nose, I, I, the blue's there, I can do it. But the red is what I'm going to use now, and the first thing I'm going to use that for is the lips. So just exactly how we did before, I'm going to paint it on the lip, leaving that sucky lip out. You can, do, you can paint your sucky lip if you like. I'm going to leave it out still. I still have a few sort of layers that I want to do, so... Okay. Remember to have a cosmetic wedge close by in case you want to blend any edges. You kind of really need to have them blended into the skin. You don't sort of want it to look like it's got lip liner on. So you can see there. Get my little blender. And like literally touch it don't wipe it don't you know go really hard with it we're just gonna go right on the edge just tippy tippy relax here on there miracle sorry if you can hear my vacuum in the background 
but it's doing its job so that's the main thing okay oh she's just so lovely um make sure you sort of have a look when i see how you can see the coloring is going when i take it away from the light a little bit but it's further away for you to see but make sure you have a look if i show any pictures try to get a look at the uh, details a little bit better and uh, now we're going to go to the hands and feet i will obviously be leaving miracle's head very close uh, while the red and blue is here we can add to it if we, we we need to okay so using the same mix we just had there i haven't moved it or anything we're going to try to do the fingertips and the toe tips and hopefully the red will be enough um, we might have to add to it but i'm pretty sure it should be should be pretty good um so i'm just checking my time because someone's on their way to visit me okay so we just get the red give it a mix and literally what we're going to do is you can see the tips of my fingers there and my thumbs so just this little section up the top, like the top of a Cheerio, that's what we're going to do, front and back. Okay, you can even see my front. Oh, I do have nail polish on, but a little bit red, but that's what we're going to do. So you just swipe off your brush from excess paint and just paint that cherry tip. tip. See how those are all painted up there? And the same on the other side, just that cherry tip. I always say it's like a Cheerio, a little Cheerio. And that colour is perfect, by the way, so you shouldn't need to go any darker. Um, we will we will still need to blend it because it could pool in the creases just under here. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to let it sit there for a moment and do the other hand. Swipe off the brush. Cherry tip. Cheerio tip, I like it more as a Cheerio tip actually, because you can imagine a little red Cheerio. Some people might call it different, something like um, little Frankies, little boys. We call them little boys in Australia as well. Um, Savaloys, something like those, those tiny little red sausages we all love with tomato sauce. Okay, so once it's let sit there for a moment, just with your blending brush or your blending wedge, just lightly pounce it. Actually, with this one, I think I'm going to do the blending wedge because I just want to sort of lightly pounce it. That's just pouncing off any excess fluid that might be trying to pool in those creases. Okay, now this task will take us to do it a few times. So I just blend it off like that. Simple. You can see the little tippy tips going already going red. I'm going to do it uh, approximately three times each. We'll do it on the feet as well. So again, you can see those little cheerio, little round little knoblings at the end of the toes. Same at the front, front and back. Mix your paint, swipe it off, paint it on. Nothing special, just whacking it there. Leave it sit. Same with the other one. Mix, swipe, paint. They'll definitely pull in the like the toenails and stuff. Sorry, a sneeze I had to cut out. <laughs> okay. Sit. And while that one is sitting, blending the first one. Oh, I'm going to use this, the wedge, aren't I? Just making sure you get any of that paint wanting to sit in the creases and be mean, because that's not allowed. If you find it still sitting in the creases, if you see any sitting in the creases, you're going to have to get like a, a finer brush, something that you can just like pounce just gently to pull up that crease part. Okay, so I am going to go and do this. Well, I have also seen the paint just ran into the um, creases of the toes there. So definitely have a small brush close by to pull up any of that. It doesn't matter if it gets in the creases. It'll just 
sort of darken those creases a bit and just make sure you pull up the paint and it's the main thing just make sure it doesn't pull in those creases okay so I'm going to go now and I'm going to do three layers of course you really need to let sit so let sit so you can know it's completely dry before going and adding on more so I'm going to do three layers and at the end of it I'll let you know whether three layers were enough or whether I did more so just on those tippies go ahead and do that cool okay so how did you go on your fingertips and toe tips you can see that mine have come up uh, a well a more blushed color than the rest of the hand but I did find as I was going through them that as we know from earlier when I was chatting about it earlier can't really tell at the moment <laughs> nose as we we're chatting about it earlier are uh, the um <clears throat> the red is has a little tinge of orange to it so really need to add a little bit of blue to it so I've left that so we can we can do that I still got some blue in my palette here so I'm going to suck that blue up get a little blue on this one's fine I'll just get some mix it together how you mix the blue to get it mixed together is you sort of push it out suck it up push it out suck it up that sort of mixes it and I'm going to put it in just a, a little bit with the red not much guys give that a little mix we can add a little bit more yep I could actually add it all what a bonus that is an absolute bonus so now that's come up a richer red I know you can't really see it there guys I want to pour it over the kit <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is with that red I am going to go over those fingertips and those toe tips again now I'm really sorry about the lighting guys I can see how terrible it is uh, but we are really overcast here today it's a dull afternoon at the end of the day the video is working so that's, that's the main thing so anyway get my little fingertips here and just like I did earlier go over all the tippy tips like that that's exactly it can leave it sort of sit there for a moment go do the other hand this color is much nicer it's coming up a nice rich a nice rich blush on the end look at that how could you not love that right so guys the video is coming to an end as I don't want it to be going forever for you so after I've done this, I'm going to be baking my baby and then letting it sit. Um, we will then start. Um, so this one at the moment is part three. We will then start part four. And in part four, you will be uh, doing the blushing features on the feet, hands and cheek. I was going to do it in this video, but as I've said earlier, I don't want to be having you watching hours of tutorials um, when you can just watch that and then go to the next step etc 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 you know what I mean so you'll come back to part four and you'll watch the blushing features on the hands feet and cheeks uh, any touch-ups that we need to do and uh, then we will start playing with the mat this is one I oh, will also do the nail the fingernails as well um, but yeah, this is one thing that really excites me because when we get to the mat and the dewy skin, see, I'm just pouncing out with this sponge here. I'm going to, I'll obviously have the test limb here, so we'll work at it, play with it until we get it to exactly how we want it to go on. And then we're going to put it on Baby Miracle. And I'm hoping that everything goes nicely to plan. But I know that that will happen because we're, doing the testing limb first so just one more set of toes to pounce out everything's looking really really good now I believe from what I can see here that this is we did three layers of the red only on the tippy tips and this is one layer um, using the maroon color so I believe it's probably going to only need that one layer 
but you're you're in front of your own baby and you've got some mix left so don't be afraid to add a couple of layers if you think it needs it it's, it's not going to hurt it um, you will know when enough is enough um, but yeah as like you can see with my fingers versus miracles fingers they look pretty good actually and um, there is going to be more blushing in here oh we've got to do a caramel layer as well which really finishes all of the layers and ties them all together sort of blends them all together and makes it work absolutely beautiful but you'll see all that in part four so thank you so much for joining uh, me with this part three tutorial guys i hope you are liking uh, how baby miracles coming out next video part four like I said, we really should see everything come together as we start putting the blushes on her cheeks and the, that final layer. Um, I'll have at the end of this video a recording of her uh, without all the lighting and everything, something a little bit more in daylight so you can really get a grasp of what I can see because at the moment when I show her to you, I just see a kit. I don't see much colour or anything, but... As you can see on the head there, there is plenty of detail. So plenty of detail is happening. Uh, so, yeah, come back for part four. Thank you so much for everyone for watching part three. And sorry for, you know, my carry-on and my cold and my chilly chili hit, my Thai, Thai green curry hit. Uh, but I know you enjoy coming along with me. So thank you so much for all joining me and I'll see you on part four. Good work, everyone. Keep up the good work. Any questions, don't forget to ask below. And thank you for everyone who, who commented last uh, video saying that they think that this miracle baby looks like a girl. I think she looks like a girl too. Okay, guys, bye. <laughs>